I joined 2020 Lifestyles because I was looking for a program that was more of a holistic approach. I've done things that were focused just on eating or just on exercise, and I really wanted something that took everything into account. I expected to get some self-confidence out of 2020 Lifestyles. I wanted to feel comfortable in my body, but I also wanted to feel empowered within myself to know how to eat that would fuel my body for training, to know how to exercise, what kind of exercise I needed. And I also wanted to be just more active with my family. I have five kids, they're all active, and I was not in a place before I started the program that I could keep up with them. 2020 has allowed me to uh, train for my running, I'm running in the New York Marathon in November, and I've completed two half marathons so far this calendar year. I have two more this summer, and it's gotten me to a place where I am faster, stronger, and my mental health is in a really good spot. Even if um, I have a day where I'm a little bit down, before I would have spiraled, <laughs> and now I have a, a bunch of tools that allow me to be successful. During the program, I lost 65 pounds, and then I've continued to lose about 15 more after the program using the tools that I learned to get there. And I'm looking at it not as a number on the scale because that's not actually what's important to me. It's where I feel like I'm actually performing physically in my races the best, and that's really exciting. I never knew that you needed to change the way that you ate for running and the different exercises that you were doing and that that directly impacted your performance. And so that has been extremely helpful for me. I have continued to meet with my trainer uh, twice a week since the program ended and I am lifting heavier than I ever thought was possible. I um, actually do it with good form so I haven't hurt myself. I'm not afraid of food anymore. I'm not thinking about food 24 seven. I'm not thinking about that next meal and trying to figure out when do I get to eat it. I'm not punishing myself for the food I ate or exercising to eat. And it's performance based and how fast can I run versus that number on a scale saying, ugh, that doesn't look right. I never felt alone, and I always felt like I had someone I could reach out to, whether that was my dietitian, my trainer, my therapist, meeting with the provider on a regular basis. I had people that could answer my questions or just give me support if I needed it.